Well, good morning and welcome to the Idahoan Show. In my last episode, I introduced my home-built ballistic pendulum, and today we're going to put it to use. Uh, so I've built a bunch of these little targets. Basically, this is just a wooden box filled with my alternative ballistic gelatin. Uh, Three-quarter inch plywood on the front and back, and then uh, about three and a half inches worth of ballistic gelatin or uh, polymerized cornstarch alternative ballistic gelatin in the middle. And so this would roughly simulate the body cavity of a medium-sized mammal. You know, rib cage and then soft tissue in the middle. Uh, and by shooting these with various bullets and using the ballistic pendulum to measure the momentum imparted to the target by the impact of the bullet, we can derive an objective measure of the actual stopping power of the bullet on a threatening target. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get started. Well, at this point I've destroyed all of the targets that I made for this test, but I think the verdict is pretty clear. Namely, at least if you're shooting 44 mag, don't bother with any of these fancy specialty type ammunition. Uh, I, you know, I tried a lot of these fancy rounds today, you know, some of the, uh, the specialty formed hollow points that are supposed to open up, you know, just so, and uh, some of the polymer tipped or polymer filled hollow points that, you know, supposedly are supposed to expand better or faster or more reliably or something, but uh, none of those specialty rounds really did very well. Uh, by far the best performance that I got was out of just your basic uh, Nosler lead nose jacketed hollow point rounds. Um, so I guess I know what I'll be shooting. Thanks for watching the Idaho Show.